All right. Um, <laughs> if I just hold it? Yeah, or you can hold it, or you can just stick it there, wherever, whatever works for you. So we appreciate you guys uh, you guys joining us today. If the sound was a little, uh, little faint, it's because we didn't have the little comics uh, kicked in. But we're here with Ron George, and this is not your first interview on Tuesday at 7. We interviewed you about some filmmaking, and I think a separate one on some recipes for blood. I think I was on here. This, this may be my third or fourth time. Yeah, yeah. 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 And this time, for those who are just, uh, just joining, is the 21 Days of Horror. Yep. Tell us where, where this idea came up or, so, or began from. I'm the Cleveland producer for the 48-hour film project. And I stepped down this year, but I'm going to co-produce next year to um, bridge in the new producer once they're, they're doing the interview process right now. So once they have that, this will be my final year for that. And I wanted to branch off and cause I learned how it kind of works and to, to run a, a film competition. And I noticed, I mean, the 48 is, is it's difficult to make a film in 48 hours. It's, it's not easy. Some people don't even turn it in. They're just like, ah, I give up. I wanted to do something that gave you more time, that gives you time to polish something to make a better overall film, a strong film, um, something that you could be proud of. I mean, not, not that you won't be proud of a 48, but that's amazing if you make a great 48, you know? So, so, so tell us, because there's a lot of folks who are going to watch it, so they're going to say, I have no idea what a 48-hour uh, film festival is, right? Yeah, the 48-hour film um, project is you have 48 hours to make film. You draw a genre. Um, Depending on in the summer, it's, it's a wide variety. In the fall, it's all kind of horror. And then they give you a prop, a line of dialogue, and a character that has to be in your film. You have seven-minute film in 48 hours. So you have to turn it in by 7.30 p.m. on a Sunday and basically hope for the best because you get people that cancel on you or drop out at the last minute. And It's one of my buddies. I did a bunch of interviews for the 48 when I first started doing it. Yeah. And I would ask them, sum up the 48 in two or three sentences or whatever. And they said, it's the most fun I've ever had being completely miserable. So, um, 48 is difficult. So I wanted to do something that was a little more relaxed, but horror based. I'm a horror fan. I do special effects makeup and I love the blood and guts. And I wanted to do something that would really showcase that. Um, the 48 does a horror 48, but they seem a little tame. So I have no limits. Like you can be completely brutal. You know, you can be, you can have nudity, you can have swearing, language, all that stuff. Because if you see the underground film scene, the indie indie film scene, there's no censorship. Yeah. You know, and that's I would like to make a nice, solid, brutal gore slasher or whatever you pick. You know, without limitations. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Twenty one days. Mm -hmm. Three weeks. Three weeks. Mm -hmm. Twenty-one days. Is it going to be something similar where your teams gather, uh, and what type of items do they elect or choose, or or how does how does the process of the twenty-one days? What is it going to look like? So you're going to sign up on the website twenty-one days of horror dot com, and it's a hundred and twenty-five dollar registration fee, and that's solid. There's no like early middle and late fee where it gets higher and, and costs like like film freeway and whatnot it's just literally 125 125 yep so you'll have you can make an eight minute film and that includes your credits so like the 48 it was seven minutes and you couldn't go beyond that seven minutes to tell your story you can go seven minutes and 50 seconds and have 10 seconds of credits you know in in mine so you can right. tell a little bit it gives you a little more breathing room to tell your complete story a lot of people will do a director's cut so i didn't want you to have to do that you, it gives you plenty of little time there so it's an eight minute eight minute film. eight minute film and then credits no or it's eight, eight minutes credits. including credits yep. okay so you're going to be given you're going to pull a genre that's that's horror based and i i brought them with me um, yeah yeah read them off okay uh so we have like trashy 80s horror horror comedy psychological horror urban legend Paranormal Horror, Witches and the Occult, Extreme Gore, 90s Found Footage, Shot on Video, Revenge Horror, Vampire, Slasher, Home Invasion, True Crime, Backwoods Horror, and Horror Spoof. So if, so if you're a team who's competing mm -hmm. or is jumping into the 21 Days of Horror, they're going to show up and they're going to draw mm -hmm. one of those 
genres. Correct. Yes. And then that's the movie that they have 21 days to create. Correct. Yeah. And I'm going to do something a little creative at the kickoff for the drawing. Well, I'll tell you what. If you guys know Ron George, you probably <laughs> know that there's going to be some creative stuff along the way. And uh, an unexpected uh, twists and turns, I think, uh, mm -hmm. as well. So at this kickoff, you're going to be given a prop. And I'm going to give you an actual horror prop that fits a horror film. So, like, in the 48, it could have been a Frisbee. That really doesn't have anything to do with, with horror. It could be, like, toilet paper roll. Like, I'm going to give you a machete, rope, you know, stuff that actually has to do with horror. So that's Almost like a clue, like, yeah. <laughs> like a lead pipe. <laughs> and then I'm going to give you a scenario that has to be in all of your films. An example of that scenario would be the power goes out. So somewhere in everybody's film, like the power would go out. That's just an example. That's, that's not what I'm actually going right, to use. Right, right. Could be. You never know. I have seven or eight scenarios written down already and willing to take more suggestions if people want to throw them at me. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Those folks who are watching, you might say, listen, I'm a filmmaker or I'm an actor. I'm an effects artist. I'm interested in, you know, jumping into to film or you know, maybe uh, networking in the Cleveland film scene, or I would imagine this isn't just Cleveland, Northeast Ohio. I mean, what you can you can be from anywhere. You be know? from anywhere. Um, uh, Misha in Atlanta said he might do it. Okay. Know? So I mean, I'd like you to come and bring your team to the seat. You know, to the big screening. You know, sometimes when you get it out of towners, they just submit it and then they won't come. But somebody's yeah. got to be there to draw. You know. And, and, I, and I think that's that's a good part to mm -hmm. know as well. Is not only. Are you creating a film, mm -hmm. but your team is watching it on the big screen? On a big screen. Yeah. So, <clears throat> basically, this is going to happen on April 1st every year, and it'll be done April 21st every single year. So, it, it's going to fall on a different day every year, mm. different weekends. Sometimes you'll have more weekends, sometimes you'll have more weekdays to do your film. But um, once you turn that in, I'm going to have a panel of judges judge those, and then we're going to do a showing on... March 11th, and right after the showing, we're going to do the awards. There's no, like, waiting a couple weeks. It's like showing the award. I'm going to know who the winners are already. Oh. And then at this one, we're going to do an audience choice um, where the team leads will only be able to vote, not like the audience. The team leads will come up, and they'll vote for three films, which cannot be their own. So they have to vote for three films that are great, but not their own. Yeah, yeah. And then while I'm handing out the awards, somebody, one of the judges will be um, tallying those up, and then they'll bring it back to me, and I'll hand it out before we get to first, second, and third place. So it's going to be immediate, like... Yep. So first place is also going to get $500 cash prize. Oh. Along with trophies and whatever. And I paid an artist out of the country to create a first, second, and third place trophy, which is on 21daysofhorror.com. You go to the awards page, and I have them listed there. And I just put them up there about 25 minutes ago because I wanted to announce that and premiere that on your show. Yeah, so if, if somebody would, if you're out there watching, if you would go ahead and post just that website, just yep, www. 21 Days of Horror. Is it the 2-1 or? Yep, 2-1, yeah. 21 Days of Horror.com, mm -hmm. and you get to see those uh, those awards. Yep. I imagine that they're they're not the typical... No, they're, they're fun. The fun? They're expensive, but they're worth it. Yeah, yeah. April 1st, it starts. Mm -hmm. How soon can a team jump in and say, hey, we want to we wanna fix our spot? It's technically been live. Um, the hooligans were the first team to sign up. So hey! They signed up at the award ceremony for um, the 48 Horror. Because <laughs> I kind of I like teased it. And uh, it, the website really wasn't complete at that point. Yeah. It's now it's it's up and a little polished. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, you can sign up there. Um, it's straight simple. I mean, it's 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 real easy to do. If you share this video again, we're watching this on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook uh, posts these videos uh, live. Posts the videos, our live videos, for thirty days. We then upload it to YouTube so we can capture it. <coughs> Uh, connect it back. But if you share this video, there's a share button in the very bottom of your screen. I think it's the bottom left hand. When you hit that share button, we know it. Mm -hmm. And if you hit that share button, your and and this week, because next week we're gonna you know we're gonna have another interview. But if you share it, we know it. Your name will be put in a drawing for next week's giveaway. Yep. 
And what, so have, what is that? I have three things, actually. So okay. I made these um, 21 Days of Horror keychains. Yeah, let me bring this up. Um, I, you know, I mean, you already got... Uh, and I made the uh, I made magnets. Yeah. I so love that's it. That's our so, logo made by... Uh, that was created by uh, Billy Butcher. Oh. Yep. Good friend of mine who I met working at Fear Experience. Yeah. And, and then... Uh, uh, and I worked with him this past year at Nightmare Cleveland. But he's an excellent um, tattooist. B Billy, uh, I've got his, some of his artwork, his paintings in our house here. So on top of this, if you share it and, you, and your name gets drawn, you'll get a free admission to compete in this competition, which is a $125 value. So, so $125 value giveaway. And I know what some of you guys are thinking. That is, I'm not a director or a producer, but you might be. You could be an actor and say, you know what, I won this, I'm going to put a team together. I need a guy who can film it, who can edit it, and whatever, and now we're in. Right. Maybe an effects artist, which we both have that in common. Yeah. You're it like happens. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to uh, announce some of the awards that we're going to be we're giving away through the competition. So your, your typical you know, writing, directing, editing, cinematography, that kind of stuff. Well, the, the, the reason why, I, I think the reason why, and you and I are on the similar page, the reason why it's important to talk about the awards is those are going to be some things that folks are going to put into their movies, right? Yep. Their films. Yeah. And, you know, you'll have a, a every one of these awards will have a trophy to take home and, you know, be proud of. But, again, it's horror, so I wanted to have, like, I'm... I'm telling these awards because I want people to actually try to write this in their film. So there'll be an award for like the best stabbing, the best blood splatter, the most disturbing death, the best use of a weapon, best practical effects, uh, best scream of terror. So it could be a male, it could be a female, um, most violent film, the creepiest film, most disturbing film, best villain. I'm going to do best woman led film. Let's try to get, you know, woman directors out there. Uh, best LGBTQ film, you know, led by, you know, that, it's just, yeah. I, I don't want it to be limited. I want yeah, it to you, be, you want to be just a bunch of guys in black t-shirts, right? You want it to be a... Yeah, it's, it's open to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love no it. No discrimination. Yeah. You know, it's, I just, I want everybody to make a great, brutal horror film, pretty much. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> and, and 21 Days allows you to make that eight-minute film with excellence, mm -hmm. right? And, and to take your time and, and do reshoot and... Be intentional about the 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 score and the the lighting mm -hmm. and the sound, which uh, I've been on I've been on some forty eights and that's pressure. Yeah, that's pressure. Twenty one days allows uh, a little bit of breathing room and probably you know a better product. What, what what's your hope? What's what's your hope that uh, will come out of this? I want to cap it at twenty four teams. Okay. Because eight minutes is a long sitting to watch 24. That's three and a half hours. Yeah. So the plan is to do group A and group B um, at the theater, and it's going to be on a Saturday. So it won't be like a weekday where it'll be like late. It's going to be on a Saturday. I'm going to do $10 tickets to come see it. Um, I just, I want enjoyable films. Yeah. Uh, I don't want rushed and unpolished films. I want perfect films, you know? And I would imagine that these films being polished mm -hmm. will find their ways to other yeah. film festivals exactly. too, right? You could submit it, like Horror Hotel is like a month and a half later. I don't know, I, the, the cutoff will probably be done by that time, but like Horror Hotel, Hotel would be a great one. And then the following year you could do Short Sweet, because that's always in January, February-ish. Um, but and the Kinodrome, um, if, as long as your film is under... 11 minutes, I believe you can submit there too. Those are all local film festivals that mm. would take your films. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Indie Gathering. Um, both of the, the Horror Hotel and the Indie Gathering are under new management um, this past year. So those are all excellent places to submit from this festival or even a 48 from there. Yeah. Yeah. I would imagine that there's folks that are watching. Mm -hmm that are like, I don't know how to, direct. I've never even thought about directing, I have no interest in directing, but I am interested in jumping on or participating somewhere. Is there a place that 
you know, somebody might go, somebody might say, hey, here's a headshot, or I'd be interested in being a, um, an extra hand for effects, or I'll be happy to carry, you know, a boom, or... There's actually lots of Facebook sites out there for the looking for extras, or looking for you know, actors, or camera people, or, you know, special effects. Um, you just have to search it on there. I do have a Facebook page for this. It's not really active yet because I was waiting for this data. I mean, it's there, yeah. <laughs> but I'll start promoting it. I don't know that off the top of my head. It's just probably wrong of me to... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll connect it here, yeah. right? And so people will be able to, like, to uh, get to it from this interview. There's an Instagram as well. Um, eventually, I'm going to start, and I'll try to do a TikTok and start doing like little teasers. And I bought a whole bunch of animated commercials with the logo and everything so um we have like a i bought a step and repeat which is like an eight by eight banner to get your picture taken with while you're at the showing so i'm just trying to make it right yeah yeah well it's i'm excited fun. i'm excited because uh because i've been uh you know blessed to know you ron and a lot of the filmmakers here as well and so I'd imagine that uh, there's going to be a buzz oh, yeah. in the next couple of weeks of going, hey, are you committed to a team yet? You know, does anybody know an extra, an extra person? And so if you're one of those folks that are maybe interested, keep an eye on the Facebook group, you know, and, uh, and you know, throw some comments in there. Keep an eye on it and, uh, and jump in if you, have, uh, if you have the courage. And what we'll do is we'll continue to pump in the 287 group as well. The details about the drawing, about... Um, the showing. Mm -hmm. Again, the drawing is going to be April 1st every year. Yep. Got 21 days, and then the showing, at least this year, is going to be towards the beginning of March, right? Yep, March 11th. What if I forgot to ask? Um, for the drop off, okay. um, you can either do it through like WeTransfer, Google Drive, any of those things like that. We don't want it to be over two gigs because it gets ridiculous. We don't really want it in 4K because that's just a ridiculous file. It's going to be shown in the theater in 1080p, so there's no point in sending it to me in 4K. It's just going to take longer to render <laughs> later. Um, or you can hand it in in person if you get your film done in two weeks and say, you know what, I'm done with this. Can I meet you? And give it to me on a thumb drive. So it's pretty easy to work with. Yeah, yeah. Well, we appreciate, Ron, you sharing the, uh, the information here and kind of announcing it yeah. to, the, uh, to the Ohio and beyond uh, film uh, crew in the, the film community here and uh, and we're going to keep an eye on it but again remember if you share this video your name is will be put into the drawing and if your name is drawn next week you'll have the opportunity to, to take one of those 24 was it 24 slots yeah 24 spots. one of the 24 spots and and your uh, 125 dollar uh, uh, fee will be covered by by ron so well thank you i might actually do one yeah. Like, it won't count, but I would do one just to say, here, you know. I love it. Here's what I came up with. <laughs> you know, and non-compete. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, Dom, thank you for sharing the build of your Mad Max car last week. And, uh, and Ron, we're excited to keep an eye on, on where this is going. And, and we encourage you guys to share and participate as well. And, uh, by the way, Happy New Year, guys. All right, thank you. All right, thanks.